Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So a little bit more information has come out with the new patch, and I'm going to be talking um, a little bit about it, basically going through everything, and also sharing my thoughts. There's a lot to cover, so this video probably is going to be a little bit long. So first things first, we're going to talk about the skilled guide upgrade. Now, the official Facebook page actually um, has some things out, and there's actually some, some things out on Cafe Naver as well. Now, they... I'm not able to use Google Translate to translate this um, since they did make this an image, but I did actually use the Google you know, Translator app on my phone and basically point it towards my computer screen, and I was actually able to read um, basically everything that is, that is on this, this page, uh, most of everything that's on this page. I, I didn't really read this part, but I, I actually read the, the skill part and everything, so um, and that's all, all I really need to know in order to know what it's all about. So first things first, we're going to be going through everything. Um, the skill book system. Now skill books are basically new items. This new item that's going to be coming out, and they are from random drops. It, they they say that you can get them in Tower of Chaos. You can get them in um, just like doing any any sort of content, story region, um, defeating legendary Astromon. Wait, you can get get them from defeating le legendary Astromon. And they can be bought in Crystal Shop. Um, and I think that's it. Wait, so they, they come from defeating Legendary Astromon. I can't remember why I read it. It was um, something about Tower of Chaos. But anyways, it doesn't doesn't really matter. All, the, all you really need to know is if you farm enough, you will be able to you know get these skill books. I don't know how rare they are. Hopefully, they're not too rare because you will need multiples in order to level up your skills all the way to max. Um, now, this system is... They, they did say that it's going to be random, but I, I'll, I'll read through it right now. Um, how to manage skills, specific at Astromons have managed skill tab activated, and then you basically just open it and then upgrade your skills. Um, skill book requirements of the many Astromons, only some are able to increase skill levels. The ones that were listed on the actual patch notes, like the Miho, Succubus, I think it was Yuki, I can't remember all of them, but um, all I know is like the Mihos and Succubus, that, those two I know for sure. Uh, but certain monsters are able to upgrade skills, and um, the Astromon grade has to be 5 stars or higher, it doesn't matter what element or level, um, it doesn't matter what, el what evolution the Astromon is. And random skills, the th either the 3 star fi or 5 star skill will be increased. Now this is actually something that, um, if, you, if any of you are people that came from Summoner's War or played Summoner's War, the skill increase system is probably going to be very, very similar to what, what it's like in Summoner's War. Basically, after you feed a skill book over to your um, your Miho, for example, what's going to happen is one of these skills, like either the 3-star or 5-star skill, is going to be increased. And then probably once one of their skills maxes out, only the other one can increase. So it's going to be a very, very similar system. Um, and... Alright, this is not 100% sure yet, but I think that's, I'm guessing this is what they mean. Um, skill level affected on specific Astromon manager skills activated can only be used, um, can't be used on max skill level is at level 5. Or level up cost, cost applies for each different Astromon, alright, I guess, I guess it depends on what, um, what rank the Astromon is. Through Astromon skill management, you may check out more details and monster skills. Skills max level may vary depending on Astromon. Astromon, which are unavailable to use skill books, will be updated soon. So basically what they're going to do is they're going to make it so that eventually all monsters can um, use the skill book to increase their skills. And that, that will kind of bring a little bit of balancing. Because right now all the Nat 5s have like really, really high activation rates on their skills. And this will help maybe the um, Nat 3, like some nat 3 monsters and make them viable, make them usable again. How to use skill book, monster manager skills, level up skills after tapping skill, or basically basically it's just going to be another interface that you can open up and level up your skills. It's probably going to look something very very similar to this. You basically click this, uh, click the button on the side and then it will open up this page. And I'm guessing may maybe there are different elements to the different skill books. Because in this picture, the, sk the skill book pic the skill book icon in the middle is actually red. So I'm thinking like perhaps this is going to be only for fire or something like that. And I think these are actually going to be a little bit hard to get. Like it's not going to be super easy for you to max out um, all your monsters and stuff. And maybe it's going to be even harder to max out a monster that's like light and dark, for example. Because maybe light and dark skill books drop a lot less. So you kind of have to choose between, you know, which monsters you want to level up. It kind of depends on how many legendaries you encounter. And 
Yeah, that's kind of the main way you, you get them. So this is actually pretty nice because it still rewards people for farming a lot. Even if you discover legendaries and you don't cash them after you defeat them, you know, they drop a skill book. So that's actually pretty good. I don't know if it's going to be a 100% drop, but I'm hoping it is because of how rare legendaries are already. If you just think about it, if it's like a rare drop for a rare legendary, it's going to be super, super hard to level up your skills. Now, after I basically scanned this with my Google Translate on my phone, um, these three basic, the, the three on the, um, three skills on the top actually says, um, it actually says to increase the damage. Like these three over here, it says um, damage increase. And this over here says proc rate increase, basically. So the Fire Miho comes with a base of a 60% chance to attack down. And then with the increase, it's going to be increased to um 80 percent you know because it's an extra 20 percent which is actually pretty nice and then i didn't actually i didn't scan this i only scanned this part but that's all i really needed to know because what's important is actually being able to upgrade the skill level of your your monsters it's kind of all that really matters um well there's you can use fire arthur maybe it's a separate skill book for nat fives only that would suck if it's only. Oh yeah, look at look at this, um, three to three to five star skill books. So maybe some of them can only be used for nat threes, some of them for nat fours, some of them for nat fives. Okay, this is this is interesting, and um, maybe if oh I think that 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 could work because uh, what if legendary monsters always drop skill books, but the skill books cannot be used on um. You know, they can only like only three star skill books can be only used on three star monsters, and then four stars and five stars, and then the five star skill book is going to be like really, really, really rare. So it's going to be hard for you to max out your nat fives, like a lot harder for you to max out your nat fives. So that actually might might make something a little bit interesting. I'm actually really hyped for this. Like I, I just imagine like imagine like uh you know like buffing my dark miho to make her stronger or like buffing um you know my water mihos to make them sap more or something like that you know that could be really really nice it'd be really nice for like attack down monsters because she just went from a two turn 60 percent chance monster to a two turn 80 percent chance attack down monster and that that's a pretty significant buff if you think about it so i think the developers are going to be a real, really really busy working on um you know making skills like skill upgrades for all the monsters in the game okay so moving on we're going to be talking about the shinobi um shinobi skills now this is this is the you know the the ninja nat 5 monster um it's going to be a new nat 5 that's going to be available at all times it's going to be like you know similar to like the wukong was last patch um uh, the shinobi is going to be for for this patch and he basically comes with um, comes with a three star courageous strike. The, the far one um, is balance type. Stat distribution. Let me let me take a look. Ooh, this is this is nice. This is this is some nice stats. Look at this. It's like over 30k HP, more than 3k attack, almost at 3k defense, and then like barely any recovery. Like this distribution is just this is beautiful. Um, and he has courageous strike on three star, so he's just. Like he's such a good um, Titans monster. He also has an eighty percent attack down on his five star. That's that's amazing too. Um, all right, and then we have the water one, who's an attacker, and attacker three thousand three point three k three thousand defense. That's actually pretty good. Recovery's a little bit high, um, but it's it's not too bad actually. It's it's pretty good for an attacker. Elemental Edge on attack absorbs 50% of enemies' SP. Now this is probably going to be the new passive skill that they're they're introducing with the new Nat Fives. Sometimes they introduce new skills whenever a new patch comes out. So this is going to be the new skill for these monsters. It's SP absorption. I don't know if this is going to, um, if this is going to like completely just you know absorb 50% of SP. That that would sound really OP because it it basically is like putting thirst on the enemy plus a morale boost for yourself or something like that. That's actually really, really sick if you think about it. Um, and then, especially if he's like, if he can do this AoE, he can basically like, you know, put thirst on like every, everyone else. I don't know if this is, if, it, if this is going to be able to, like if monsters are going to be able to resist this, if it works like the dominance buff where you can't resist, it's going to be super, super strong, um, this SP absorption skill. 
So, Witch Shinobi is a tank, um, 4,000, almost 3k defense. This is also very nice stats for a tank. On attack, absorbs 20% of enemies SP, and on attack, 100% um, chance to recover 30% um, of HP. So this is this is a uh, this is like a pretty big heal. You know, if you if he hits like four people, if he hits four people, it's like a max heal basically. If you think about it. I'm I'm actually starting to think that maybe these monsters are single target. It seems a little bit. It seems like way too strong for them to be um, AOE. Like this is way too strong to be AOE. So is so is this. I, I'm starting to think they're single target units. It makes so much sense because then, you know, you can put attack down for two turns on your five star skill, and then since they're single target units, you you'll do more damage to titans with this this skill or something like that. Now, if, this, if they're if they actually are single target, like Fire Shinobi is going to be amazing for uh for clan battles. Light Shinobi. Well, these two are like you know they're they're obtainable, but they're, they're like super hard to get. Um, you have to get them from Light Dark Eggs. Light Shinobi has attack, defense, recovery. Whoa, his recovery is so high. His stats is really weird. Um, increased damage dealt by forty percent, so he has a. Hunter, or not Hunter, um, Predator on first skill. On attack, uh, greatly restores own HP in proportion to damage dealt. So this is, he's just basically like another self-heal monster. I don't even know why he has this much recovery. It's, it, re it really makes no sense. It kind of makes his stat distribution not, not all too good. The Dark Shinobi is an attacker. Um, 32k. Defense and HP are pretty high. Not bad. On attack, absorbs 30% of enemy SP, and then critical hit damage increased by 40%. So he... Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Is this the new Dark Gatito? This is the new Dark Gatito. This is like Dark Gatito 2.0. Actually, he has slightly less damage, if you think about it, but he's, he's much tankier. Probably much stronger for PvP. It's not going to matter too much for uh, dragons and stuff, but you know, for PvP, this is going to be insane. And then they have uh, HP increase leader skill for clan battles. All right, so this we're moving on. This is the Omnyoji. Um, in the original Korean translation, it just said Yin Yang, but uh, you know th these are the ones that are going to be only available for uh, for Heroes Festival. You can only get them during Heroes Festival. And I'm guessing the light and dark ones aren't really available yet, since you know you can only get them from Heroes Festival. You can't summon light dark monsters from Hero Festival, so. Kind of, kind of doesn't work out. Um, the fire one is a tank with 32k attack defense. This is decent. It's not, it's not too bad. It's like, it's not super good, but it's, it's not too bad. Um, the stat distribution on attack um, absorb 20% of enemy SP and then 80% chance to defense down for two turns. So I'm guessing they're AOE probably. I'm I'm really thinking that Shinobis are probably single target. Like if they're AOE, this is gonna be insane. Like this is just way too strong to be AOE. It it just doesn't seem right in my head that they would make an AOE monster. Um, it makes much more sense for them to be single target monsters. So the water one has a holy shit! Whoa, <laughs> whoa! Look at this. 30, 32, um, like this is already pretty high, this is pretty low, but it doesn't really matter, but like 30, 3200 attack, plus, uh, Hunter 50% on both skills. Just, just think about that for a second, like, like he's like, he's like Water Valk, but like much stronger. It's actually pretty amazing. It's a lot of damage, um. Interesting. I'm thinking like where water monsters are usable. B8, but then then again B8's a joke, so I guess you'll just use them as a nuker everywhere. Um he should be pretty good for Titans, just like, you know. Or she, probably she. The picture looks like a she, so she. Um and the wood one is a defender, um pretty high defense, pretty high HP for a defender as well. It's not not too bad. 100% seal, two turns, and 80% petrify. So it's like a weaker version of a water nightmare, basically. Light one is a defender with uh, ooh, 32k. Pretty high attack. On attack, absorb 
30% of enemy SP, and then 70% AoE shock. It's it's decent. It's not it's nothing exceptional, but it's it's pretty nice. Um, Dark one is a attacker. 32. This is this is pretty high. On attack, restore own HP proportional to damage dealt. All right, so this is like a a dark version of a light snowy, basically. That's a nat five, and also has way higher attack. Well, not way higher, but like much a little bit significantly higher attack. Um, and then they also have resistance for clan battles. So that's actually pretty pretty nice. Um, the Verd is the Bard, or I guess that's that's how they're going to be translated. Um, and Fire One, these are Nat 4s, so these aren't Nat 5s, they're Nat 4s. Um, th these are the monsters that are going to be for Rebirth. You know, during Rebirth Festival, they're going to be replacing the Thors. It's going to be exactly like the Thor Rebirth Festival. And the Fire One is a balance type. Uh, 2700, 2500, recovery... This is pretty good. This is not bad for, for balance type. 70% um, chance to blind and 5 star courageous strike. Alright, this is a good monster. This is this is, uh, this is is really good. 5 um, star courageous strike, you can't go wrong with that. Courageous strike, fi especially fire courageous strike monsters, like they they definitely do need more of these. Um, and yeah, this is really good. This is uh, This is like quite ideal, to be honest. You know, I remember during the... <laughs> I remember during the um, during the contest for like design your own there was a design your own um, Astromon contest before and then I I remember like you know making like my, my fire Neura and then basically almost had like the same exact skill set balance type 2 and instead of instead of blind it was attack down but I, I think blind is actually more suitable because there's no monster with blind and courageous strike so this actually makes a more, much more unique skill set I think they did a really really good job with this like I, I really like this I might actually try to try to build a few fire ones if the light dark ones aren't too strong. Um, there was actually another monster that made me think of something like that. Oh yeah, it was it was something like this, like a really strong self heal on five star skill. Oh, not for not for allies, but like only for yourself. It's actually. Um, yeah, it's it's actually pretty nice because I, I remember when I did the design your um, Astromon contest, you know, for the Wood Nira, I actually had a, um, or not Wood, it was the it was a dark one that had the skill, like where you can heal yourself or something like that. Man, I I think like, I think they're doing such a good job. I, I feel like I feel like great minds think alike. Not to not to sound like I'm I'm like you know praising myself or anything like that, but you know I I do think they're. Um, whatever they're like, the way they're designing these new monsters, um, I really like their their the way they're going with with all these new monsters. So, seems pretty fun. Um, the water bird is a balance type with HP, attack, defense. Yeah, this isn't this isn't as good. Like, I would sacrifice the HP for like slightly higher attack. It actually depends on what he has. He has petrify and seal. So this isn't really too useful to be honest. Um, uh, yeah, he doesn't have too high attack. He can't really use for dragons either. He's just, I guess he's just fodder. Woodford is a tank with, oh, this is pretty high for a four star. Um, very low attack, very low defense, very low recovery. Everything went to his HP basically on stat distribution. And he has attack down and defense down. So I think this actually might be pretty strong. He's like a reverse with Leo, but with not as good stats. Actually, you can argue that his stats are, could be better like might count as better because none of it really went into recovery and it just basically all went into HP so he basically can provide attack down and defense down he can use this for for clan battles Obvi obviously for PvP um, having defense down on first skill is definitely definitely stronger but for Titans I think having attack down on first skill is is gonna be slightly better I think he's just gonna be a pretty pretty good monster um, pretty good monster just for <laughs> For all Titan battles, just for the attack down. Light Verd is also balance type. There's so many balance type. Um, mostly HP. On critical hit, absorb 30% of enemies' SP. So this is the abs SP absorption skill. Now, it sounds really OP to be honest, because it's like if you if you absorb their SP and then like boost your own SP, that would be like crazy strong, because it would be like. Uh, Morale boost plus thirst all in one, you know? 
Kind of reminds me of like when they introduced Battle Rush. But then Battle Rush only increased like 20%. But then some morale boosts only have 20%. So I'm not too sure. Maybe this is like the new morale boost. And on attack, 10% um, of own HP is restored to all allies. So this is kind of like a, a wood nightmare basically. Yeah, it's exactly like a wood nightmare. But instead of a morale boost, it has the SP drain skill. So probably slightly stronger. But then it has to rely on crit. And it doesn't have a, as good stats because it's an at four, so I'm not too sure. This it seems like this monster is gonna be impossible to gem. It's gonna be so hard to gem because if you don't gem full tank for, for uh, like, for arena, then he's just gonna die really easy. Even if you gem full tank with this, he's still gonna die pretty easy. So I guess you might as well use him as an attacker. Yeah, I think use him as an attacker. Um, like crit rate. You can go like crit rate HP defense, or you can go like crit rate attack HP, something like that. Dark Vert is an attacker. Um, he has more HP than he has defense for an attacker. That's, or it's a, he has more HP than he has attack for an attacker. Um, but I like his stat distribution. Like this is actually pretty good, um, like pretty balanced for a Nat Four because none of it really went into recovery. Most of it went into HP attack and defense. And he has an 80% chance to sap for one turn and silence for one turn. Now, why couldn't this last for two turns? His stats are so good, though. Yeah, he's just... I don't think they're too good. But the, the leader skill seems pretty nice. Attack increase. I think fire one's definitely the best. I, I really like this fire one. Um, definitely going to try to grab a few. I guess it, it won't hurt me too much because I won't have to do like the fusion for the light and dark ones and try try so hard to get them. I'll just like I'll just rebirth a few and then try to grab like some fire ones, try to get them to like evil two, and then they'll be good enough. Like I'll just leave them at evil two and it'll be good enough for Titans. Um, and maybe in the future I'll try to like eventually I'll level them up to evil three <laughs> when I have the resources to do so. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I'm just super excited for the skill book system. Like this is insane. Like I, I'm so hyped. You guys have no, no idea how hyped I am right now. Like holy shit. Uh, I wanna, I wanna buff my water miho. Like maybe she'll be like a super strong sapper. I, I don't know. Maybe. But anyways, that is pretty much it for just the the first look at the the new patch. Um. Yep, that's that's all there is to it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll see you guys tomorrow, probably before the patch come out, comes out, and then I'll see you again after the patch actually does come out. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.